Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. It's raining outside right now, so I thought I'd uh, take a few minutes to do a video for you guys on uh, some of the prices in uh, my local area on my shopping trip that I took today. Um, I don't grocery shop like every day or every other day. I'm pretty much about a once a month um, grocery shopping trip uh, type person. Um, we don't we don't go all the time. And, uh, you know, the way prices are now, that's actually a good thing that we have gotten into that habit. The last time I actually did any type of uh, grocery shopping is when we went over to the uh, the Mennonite and the Amish store. Uh, and that was about a month ago. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a link in the description for that video. But I thought it'd be kind of neat to uh, just discuss some of the prices that I'm seeing here in uh, Michigan where I'm at and just let you guys know um, kind of what's going on. There were some deals and there were some uh, not so good deals. There was a, a lot of increases in prices just from the last month when I went shopping that I thought I'd talk to you guys about because uh, inflation, unfortunately, I believe is going to be the next pandemic. Um, that's really going to mess with stuff. And there was a lot of anger out there. I, they, every, the word on everybody's lips is gas prices. Everybody was complaining in one way, shape, or form about that. Some of them pretty uh, vocally. Now, I always try to um, combine my grocery shopping trips with other things so I don't have to go, you know, make extra trips for stuff. So when I got business or appointments or anything like that, I always fold that into um, grocery shopping trips and, uh, you know, prep shopping trips, that kind of stuff. And I don't, um, I always take a certain amount of caution when I shop. I always have. Um, I always like going to multiple different stores, multiple different places, multiple different towns. Like I said, I always have, you know, either business or appointments or this or that in different towns. So I'm not always going basically to the same place. That's, uh, I guess and going to be more important, I think, as uh, time goes on and kind of touches on that whole discretion and prepping thing that I've been talking about here uh, just recently. But I went to a couple different Walmarts. I went to uh, what's called a Meyer. Uh, we have Myers here in uh, Michigan. It's one of the big box stores, one of the big competitors uh, with the Walmarts. And then um, we have, I like going to small grocery stores. So I make mental notes in all the towns around me about all the different small grocery stores. I have several different small grocery stores that I go to. We've got a lot of um, fruit and vegetable markets and uh, I go to those as well. I like patronizing those as well. And we also have a lot of uh, fruit stands, that kind of stuff, because we actually do grow quite a few um, different types of uh, vegetables and fruits uh, here in Michigan. I don't know if most people know that, but uh, we they're actually really good places to get good stuff, especially larger quantities if you want to can. Now, um, I'll tell you a little bit here what I spent. One Walmart was $58. The Meyer was $14. One of the small grocery stores was about $26. The fruit stand was uh, $22 and then 113 at another Walmart is uh, what I spent today. So what is that? That's about $230, something like that. That is probably a solid $50 more than what I normally spend on these trips. And uh, I attribute that right back to inflation. Now, a couple of things. We make most of our own dog food. So... Um, Rice and canned vegetables are two things that we will purchase so we can make our own um, dog food. And that's another video that I did way back in the day is how we make our own dog food. And we do that just to save money. It's one of those things. And uh, saving money, that gets into canning. Um, canning's kind of come back in vogue with everything that's been going on with the pandemic. But the two main reasons um, that uh, people canned back in the old days was to uh, preserve their harvest and to save money. And I think you're going to see that save and money thing come around because there was actually some stuff that I seen today that actually was really good prices. And if I wouldn't have to work the next few days, I would have probably grabbed some of that stuff and canned some of that stuff. One of them was peaches. Um, peaches at the one fruit stand, there was a bunch of South Carolina peaches there. They were 99 cents a pound and they were nice looking peaches. 
I really had to uh, restrain myself from buying a whole uh, boatload of those and bringing them home and putting some heavy syrup on them and uh, putting them in the pressure canner and canning them in pint uh, jars. But I, I restricted myself. But that was probably the best price that I seen today was at 99 cents on, uh, on peaches. Asparagus and strawberries were actually also really good prices. We grow both asparagus and strawberries here in uh, Michigan, and June strawberries are sort of a thing. June is the strawberry season for us here in Michigan, and uh, there were containers of uh, strawberries that were two bucks, and asparagus was between 99 cents and $1.50 a pound at the uh, fruit stands that we were at. That was actually a really good price. Uh, chicken was the absolute worst Everywhere I looked, chicken was just astronomically expensive. And the cheapest I seen boneless, skinless chicken breast was uh, $4.29 a pound. And I seen it as high as $4.59 a pound, which is just astronomical. Uh, last year in um, February and in March, I actually canned a whole ton of boneless, skinless chicken breast probably 100 to 120 quarts that I canned last year. The most I paid for that was like $1.59 a pound, and some of it was 99 cents a pound. I bought big 10-pound uh, bags, divided it up, and every day that I had off, I'd go get some more, and I'd can it, and we actually still have some of that left. Um, that is a significant increase in price, you know, going from 99 cents or $1.59 a pound up to $4.29, $4.59 a pound. That's just mind-blowing. I've never seen any meat product go up that much as that uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast. Eggs have been another thing that people have been talking about a lot. Eggs. Um, we're still fairly reasonable. Um, the price did go up on them around here, but I actually bought a couple dozen eggs today. They were $2.39 a dozen. Um, but if you go into the big box stores, they're more like three thirty nine dollars a dozen. They're like a dollar more, but they produce a lot of eggs around here. So eggs, I got multiple places I can get eggs for fairly reasonable. All the local grocery stores have them from the local places. So they're all usually cheaper than uh, even the big box stores. Um, <clears throat> Vegetables in general, onions were pretty uh, kind of on the expensive side. They were about three bucks for like a two to three pound bag, depending what kind they were. They're typically 99 cents. Potatoes are generally for a 10 pound bag for us around here, pretty much most of the time, like a year ago, they were $1.99 pretty much everywhere you look. Now they were anywhere between $2.99 and $4.59, depending on what kind that you got. So that was also a significant increase in uh, price that I had noticed. Uh, rice at the big box store was still pretty cheap. Like I said, that's one of the things that we buy to make our own dog food. I bought a 20 pound bag of rice. That was like uh, $8.98 or something like that. That wasn't um, too bad. The small cans of uh, mixed vegetables, they were 58 cents a can. I didn't think that that was uh, too bad. A lot of stuff like paper plates, um, detergent, those are also some things that I got today. They were ridiculously expensive. Paper plates are just astronomical around here compared to uh, uh, what they were. Um, some of the other stuff... Uh, that I picked up, picked up some instant mashed potatoes. They were still two, um, 62 cents a package at the, um, at the local stores or at the uh, big box store there at the Walmart. What else do I have on here that I can uh, tell you about? Oh, uh, another thing that was a good price was uh, um, pork loin. Uh, pork loin was $1.99 a pound, must be on sale around um, must something must be going on with it because it was on sale at a bunch of different places but a dollar 99 there's not a lot of uh, waste on pork loin that's another thing that if i'd have some time i'd probably cut some of that up and uh pressure can that because that's a fairly decent price you know dollar 99 a pound it's about two pounds in a quart can you know you could do a uh, steamer full pretty pretty cheap in the uh, pressure canner um that is another uh really good price uh ground beef um what would be ground chuck? I don't know what the, I think it's 80-20 or whatever that they call it. Um, that was actually um, $2.99 a pound, which I thought was a pretty good price. Another thing that was a pretty good price was those real long uh, cucumbers. Our cucumbers aren't in yet. Um, 
but I got a lot of red onions here and I got a lot of uh, dill here that I'm growing. Um, the dill's growing inside my arrow garden and I still got onions left over from uh, last year. So I bought some of those 79 cent um, English cucumbers, the real, real big ones, sliced them all up, made a big bowl of um, uh, cucumber salad and that can just stay in the refrigerator for a day or two until we uh, we eat it. Cheese was another thing that had went up quite a bit at Walmart. We normally would get the um, the shredded uh, two pound bags, which were like about five. I want to say five thirty four is the last thing that I paid for them. They were seven forty eight today, so that was a another significant uh, price increase. So uh, you know, this week uh, our meal plan bacon was another thing that I actually found some on sale. I found some off-brand um, one-pound packages. They were two for six dollars. So for bacon, that's pretty, pretty decent. So you know, our menu this week is going to be uh, some. Ch oh, and the chicken that I did buy, I did find some uh, chicken thighs. They were like uh, two fifty-eight or two fifty-nine a pound. That's I have bought some of those because uh, we actually made those tonight. And then uh, the leftovers are actually going to be uh, barbecue chicken pizza for uh, tomorrow, and. Uh, that's gonna go uh, go with uh, some side stuff that we got here because we got lettuce growing. I got the tomatoes on the arrow garden so we can have a salad or something to go along with that. Um, the pork loin is gonna get made into uh, Italian pork sandwiches. Um, real simple thing too with the herbs that I got here. A little salt, a little black pepper, some rosemary, some thyme, some parsley off the arrow garden, rub that on and uh, put that in the crock pot, slice that up. Um, the ground beef's probably going to be burgers on the grill. It's probably going to be uh, some kind of maybe some tacos or something like that uh, one night. Got the bacon, so we're going to have BLTs because I always make enough food for everybody to take to work the next day. So then uh, I what would typically be... Um, for our family, I actually double it because then everybody takes that to work and that way we don't have to spend money at uh, at restaurants or anything for lunch and we have uh, food that's better than what normally comes around. But I thought I would just do this quick video here kind of discussing the prices and stuff that I seen. Prices were, uh, you know, quite a bit higher. Uh, mayonnaise was actually on sale. Hellman's mayonnaise, that was like $4.50 uh, for a uh, quart thing. That was actually pretty cheap. Uh, cat food, um, actual canned cat food. We have an old cat that we buy canned cat food for and uh that's pretty expensive that stuff is uh almost 80 cents a can and that's not quite double what it used to be what we used to pay for that so that's another one that was just ridiculously expensive but uh, a lot of the produce stuff um the stuff that's in season is actually a really good price you know if you don't have a canner or if you've never you know considered canning before i think canning is really going to see a resurgence i mean there was people canning during the pandemic like it was going out of style i think you're going to see that continue i think it's going to become more a uh, way of life just because uh people are going to want to save that money because, you know, I heard this for years. Oh, that's, that's too much. You spend more money canning than you do, uh, than you do just going up to the store and buying it. That attitude I'm sure is going to change with what's been going on. But anyways, modern refugee, appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope uh, you guys got a little something out of this here. I consider all my subscribers and uh, people that watch my video, my friends. So this is just a chat amongst friends about what I'm seeing here in uh, Michigan. And uh, if you guys want to put a comment down there about what your prices are or what you're seeing so uh, everybody can kind of interact and uh, share what they know so we can all keep ahead of this and uh, try to make those pennies go as far as we can in, these, in this day and age. But anyway, you guys take care.